did the lesson go as you planned? Largely. Um, I'm happy the way the children were engaged. I think every single child in here was making progress. Um, I've just started this unit of work with them and I analysed through some speaking and listening at the start of the lesson that whilst they had some of the features, they weren't really using persuasion, they weren't using a range of adjectives and they certainly weren't using the logical connectives. That's the reason they were on the table. Um, the class is very visual, they enjoy kind of the visual stimulus, so they've got things on their learning aids on their table as well to support them. So I knew that the scaffolding was there for them. In terms of the learning, yeah, uh, I think they've all made tangible differences in terms of they've produced a plan, they've all got the ideas of the criteria that need to be included in that. That's not to say that they're finished, this is a first draft of a plan, so. But by the end of it, using the uh, assessment for learning marking ladders, the children, especially Georgie, clearly saw, hold on a minute, I haven't done this, what am I going to do to improve it? I think I haven't used those a lot with them, uh, mainly because these are, they're suited. We've been working on uh, a novel before now, writing in a, a tense, etc., in, in a conversation. Here, when they've used the genre of the marking ladders, I think it's made it more clear for them. It's made it very visual in how they improve their own learning and how they actually take a handle on that. Jordan was the one that wobbled for me in the corner. Um, he's a lively kid, loving to death, but he's at, at, it's at the end of a long week for him. Um, I think he needed a little bit more persuasion at the end than he might have done. That's the reason I let him go and get his glass of water and he let him have that little bit of thinking time and take up time. Looking at his work, he's got the hang of it. It's just, he will do, if he's allowed to do it, as little as possible. So when I've gone back and challenged him, you're a level four child that wants to be a level five, how do you make this better? He's more than capable of adding a few sentences. It was difficult at the start because we had a group of children at the front here. That's not to say they weren't there, they wasn't differentiated by ability. Those guys had been out um, learning cycling proficiency this morning, which timetabling was brilliant. So they didn't have the same input that other children had had. So whilst they were there, the reason I didn't stick with them is that they were relatively able children. They were working collaboratively, they had the ability to bounce ideas off, so I didn't want to stifle that. I didn't want to force it down a particular route. It's up to me now, I suppose, to look through that and see whether I've got four carbon copies, which I don't think I have, listened into the work that was coming out, and how to improve that. Um, yeah, I think the, the atmosphere in the room was good. They enjoy moving around from table to table. I don't like children sitting on their bottoms for too long. They get bored, and I think everyone else does. And I think I enjoyed Rui going and correcting one of the level five girls. Rui's a, a top level four, very quiet at times, very, very popular, very nice lad. Molly at level five doesn't like being wrong and it was interesting to see that conversation and to watch that take place. So would you do anything different? Yeah, I mean the differentiation I hope was apparent to people as they went around the room in terms of the conversations I was having with the children reinforcing Chloe for example, Chloe you want to be a level six, is that appropriate? Have you used adjectives? Which of the persuasive devices did she use? She understood the idea of alliteration, she understands the idea of adjectives Maybe she was just thinking it's Friday afternoon and I'll, I'll see what I can get away with. I did have the, um, uh, I did have some information to give them, expecting which level, but working around the groups, I thought actually having that communication one-to-one -one with the child was more necessary as it refocused rather than making those differences apparent.